My name is Jackson Logan Klein, and I did my presentation on concussions in football. Football is the greatest sport to ever be invented, in my opinion, because I think it's the only sport that's really comparable to life. Because you get knocked down, and you, when you get knocked down, you can't just stay knocked down. you got to get back up in any situation in life. And I loved it. My friends loved it. I still love it to this day. But the only thing about football is the injuries. And the big injury nowadays is concussions. That's one you see on the news all the time. But in youth football, which is the ages from 8 to 12, uh, these kids, this is when the young kids want to become their favorite NFL superstars, like Darius Leonard, TJ Watt, or Christian McCaffrey. But what happens when the football helmet isn't working effectively? Every player that on the, that's on the field needs a protective helmet that will keep them from getting a concussion. In recent years, there has been an increase in the, amount, in the amount of diagnosed concussions, and this is becoming a problem for our athletes. But what if there was something that could help save our favorite athletes? With the continual technological advancements of memory foam helmets, head injuries could possibly be avoided altogether. With the early utilization of these memory foam helmets, children and adults can be insulated and protected from all types of contact-driven injuries. Concussions are defined as temporary unconsciousness caused by a blow to the head. The overall consensus of the medical community is that these types of injuries should be avoided at all costs. In the, in, in the likelihood of even just one concussion occurring in the individual, the probability of complications arising are almost 20%. Just one concussion, according to Dr. For, Dr. Christer, Christopher Whitlow, Chief of Neurology over at Wake Forest Medical Center, has been researching young football players to study the impact of just what these concussions can cause on their brains. And as you can see right here, I've had a concussion before, but I've got a picture of what it is, what a concussion really is. And when I had my concussion, what happened was me and a player, we combined helmets. And what happens is when he does this, it, you impact the crown of the helmet right here. And what happens is the force of that impact causes the brain to strike the inner surface of the skull and rebound against the opposite side like a spring. In severe concussions, the brain rebounds and it twists. And as you see right here, a really bad concussion can also not only cause t uh, damage to the brain, but it can also cause some uh, damage to the spine as well. It can swell and then it can cause a bunch of an uh, anomalies in the brain. Some statistics show about, con uh, about concussions in football are that 10% of all contact sports sustain concussions yearly. Football injuries associated with the brain occur at the rate of one in every five and a half games. Well, I, were, I want to become a biomedical technologist, and in my field of study, what I've been wondering is what we could do to maybe impact, to help impact the amount of concussions in a football helmet. So I've looked at NASA, and you'll say, well, what does NASA have to do with football helmets? Well, one of the greatest accomplishments of NASA is not only the countless space missions, but the invention of a heat pressure absorbing foam utilized by countless industries and in what continues to be its crowning achievement with new practical applications being discovered on a steady basis. Could this foam be the answer to, be, to what we use inside of a football helmet? Well, if football helmets were made with this amazing energy absorbing foam that's also used on mattresses called tempur uh, they could also aid towards reducing concussions in contact sports where helmets are required. In NASCAR, they've already started using these, especially in the seats and in the helmet. There's already been one driver whose vehicle featured this custom, uh, custom uh, foam in place seating, and he walked away from a serious crash, nothing, no concussion or nothing. It's because of this high impact energy absorbing power. Now that temper foam is nearly 40 years old, it is much more energy absorbent and cheaper to produce than when it first came in the scene. Only after more extensive research could it possibly ultimately prevent all head injuries entirely. This will be the ultimate solution to any brain injury caused by impact collisions. One of the latest, most advanced helmets is from a startup company based out of Seattle, Washington, Vices. This has been recently released its football helmet, which is engineered with multiple specialized layers designed to mitigate impacts believed to cause concussions. 
This helmet differentiates from the competition because of its unique outer shell material that is designed to mitigate the forces thought to cause concussions on the football field and in other contact sports. It is used by players in on nearly all NFL teams, more than 120 NCAA programs, and more than 1,200 high school teams. But the only disadvantage of this is it costs over $1,500 per helmet. Another option is the, sh the Shut Custom F7 football helmet. This helmet features groundbreaking tectonic plate technology, a helmet stabili stabilization system lined with temper foam, and a host of other advancements. Its interior lining, called the Radian Diffusion System liner, has been added under the helmet's airliner, which improves the helmet's performance against rotational forces. It is also with temper P cushion. Football's most advanced impact absor uh, absorption system. There are six layers of performance and impact absor absorption in the S7. Awareness about concussions has never been greater among football players and coaches. So in order to help prevent head injuries in our favorite football players, it is evident that new football helmets are needed. The NFL has recently reported that the number of concussions have decreased. One reason is the number has decreased, uh, decreased due, it's because those helmets are using foam inside them to protect the players. I love the game of football. I can't wait for every NFL Sunday or uh, every college football Saturday. And I want the game of football to continue, and I want every player to be safe.